Here we go. Looks like we're live. Looks like we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello. It is Tuesday it is, night. Norm it normally Tuesday. Monday night, but we're breaking ritual. We're doing the Tuesday night Alex and Press show. Welcome to the show, boys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for being with us, ladies and gentlemen, aliens and earthlings. <laughs> Here we are in the middle of the fever. The country is gripped. The country is gripped by fever and the world looks to people for, for some Not just the country, is, Prash. Not just the country, the world. The world. The world is gripped in fear and along with toilet rolls, it seems That's the yeah, other that thing that is in short supply is common sense. <laughs> Rapidly going down the toilet pan along with the toilet roll. Yeah, yeah. Alex. What the hell's going on? Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I love asking people's uh, opinions on the corona. And it, it, I've got a pretty much all walks of life from every endeavor, from every single class, every single religious sect, every shape, size. And it, what I'm getting is 50-50 of in terms of people who are buying into it. And the other 50 now is all a load of rubbish, mate, <laughs> which is interesting. Right. But listen, let's look. Let's before the, the subject tonight is fear, because what you just said is crazy. I mean, we're letting a fear run out of control, run, run away with us. Absolutely. And we're letting fear take grip. Fear is taking a priority. It's taking a stranglehold over what we've got. And I think that my big concern and. I've been echoing it with a lot of my coaching clients who are coming in and saying, oh, I can't do coaching. My mind is filled with this. My mind is filled with that. And I'm having to pull them back and, and help them to recalibrate where they're put in their headspace. Because unfortunately, our heads are being filled with this fear mongering. Yeah. 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 And what's happening is that the fear is more infectious than the damn virus. It's, the fear is likely to kill more people. Contagious. Fear, fear leads to stress. Stress leads to all kinds of physical manifestations and, and mental health issues. And it's those things effect. together are going to claim more lives, aren't they, Alex? They're going to claim more lives than the damn the, coronavirus. The placebo effect, the, the sugar pill, you know, the doctor says, you know, if you're ill, it gives the kid a sugar pill. It's a sugar and the yeah. kid thinks it's going to work. Same thing in reverse. Absolutely. So let's, let's, let's get this. Listen, I, I train, I love training and I'm, I'm actually it goes through my mind because when I train, I'm, when I don't mean even training in any gym, but right. I do martial arts, we get sweaty and rolling around with guys and you, it is, you do, it does cross your mind. We're going to go there in a second. I'm going to yeah. go there in yeah. great detail, but oh, should I be doing this? Because, you know, well. but, but look, let's, right, let's go straight to it. Let's look at numbers. Now, fear. Fear is healthy in men, in some guises. We need fear. I love, I love a bit of Rocky. Um, if you're a fighter, you need a certain amount of fear. And unfortunately, as, as, as I believe we are spiritual beings living a physical existence, we can never get rid of fear because we need no. that fear to, to keep us up. And as Rocky says, he says, to, I can't remember the... Um, a fighter he's training i'm not ready rock i'm getting beaten up i'm getting no no man you are ready you know I'm, you are that's here through that fear that's your enemy that's your friend use the power feel it come on the feel it course in your veins but i mean every single athlete it, or maybe you're an athlete i'm an actor as well um a, yeah. and a performer someone a ceo going out to talk in front of i talked to on the weekend i was a bit scared you know, on on your on wow. our event you know which we've got another event coming up just quickly, 27th to the 29th of March, I'm going to have a healthy amount of fear to, to perform. To be able to do that. And, you, and that's good. And that, that yes. keeps you sharp. It keeps you sharp. So fear can be useful. What we're talking about, folks, uh, and I love the way you put it. I mean, you've been through stuff that most people would not even imagine, right? You've been in fights with 300 plus fights around the world with some scary people, as you were saying on Saturday night. Then you've gone and done all these things. You've been in and out of courtrooms, 
all kinds of drama, uh, the, the amount of fear that could have taken over your life. And yet well, that, somehow... This is, what, this is what I want to build on. I mean, and let's, let's go there. I mean, for me, fighting is actually easier than... Uh, I imagine that's very scary to people. I find going on a roller coaster very scary. Hmm. Um, it's so fear can, is unquantifiable. Um, some people yeah. have got arachnophobia. I've got no problem with the spiders. I don't like them, but uh, so you, it's not always it's tangible. Very so, fear, yeah, it's not always tangible, and it's also very subjective. So one person's fear is another person's thrill. Man, why are you so scared of that? That's silly, that's, you know, you know, and you you can't say that. I mean, um, I lost my train of thought. What were we just saying, Prash? What we're talking about is how. Those things don't scare you. Going into the cage doesn't scare you. Maybe roller coaster rides scare you. And I think you were going to allude to a more deeper conclusion. I think we can all draw from this, right? Yeah. So. The deeper conclusion. The deeper conclusion, folks. Uh, and I know we, we talked about it on, on Saturday night. Is A... Fear is not a bad thing if we use fear to our advantage rather than let fear control us. And that we, we need to start becoming the gatekeepers of what is entering our eyes and ears because information is coming from our eyes and ears. It's coming from media. It's coming from other people. It's coming from friends and family. And it's coming from generally the hype. And we've got to sift through the hype through the facts. And there's a lovely acronym for fear, F-E-A-R false evidence appearing as yeah. real yeah. f-e-a-r false appear so, evidence appearing as real so I, I i went quiet for a second because i was trying to um i had a tiny tiny bit of fear <laughs> but what i what brought me out of that and i get that from time to time i just go quiet i'm like okay you start yeah. talking to yourself where i one of the best things that we actually teach on our retreats is to meditate and to calm yourself down and to realize with what you just said, false evidence, evidence. appearing real. Yeah. Um, start having a, like I, I say, one of the things I always do is have a boardroom meeting in my HQ up here. Like, what's going on? Right, going I love on? that. Well, it's not so bad. Come on, you can hand, you've been in much more stressful situations. Right, let's look at the evidence. Right, let's, let's see the yes. woods for the trees. So, because sometimes you've got so much information coming in so fast, you can't, oh, jeez. Oh, and it's You're just overwhelmed. right there. So this is where meditation slows everything down. Um, so true. And I, I, although I was quiet just a millisecond ago, um, I was comfortable here. I, I, it was a little bit, oh, I should be saying something. But no, you're okay. You're, 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 you're getting, you're, you, it will come. It's You'll learning come. to trust yourself. And you basically yeah, so true, build man. a bank. What you do is, I mean, in life, when you were 10 years old, things would really stress you out that wouldn't stress yeah. you out with the 12. We, we, and this is what we were trying to do on our retreat is build up a bigger bank. And in life, I mean, listen, I've had a lot of fights. It's, I still get scared, but it's not as scary as if it's the first fight because I understand what's coming. So you're building up a bank. You start with the meditation. You can understand. You can look at all of the evidence and not be overly yeah. scared about something because it's hang on am i really gonna die of this coronavirus let's look at the facts let's look at the figures you are more likely to win the lottery a 45 million life uh, lottery than get than die of corona it is a 0.2 percent chance if you are under 50 if you even contract corona that you die of it from all of the statistics i'm not saying um I want Corona, and I'm. Not, but I, I have to look at that. That's that's quite. A, I'm yeah, we're not minimising it. Yeah. A car crash, uh, an aeroplane. So hang on, and now and then you look right. Okay, so what can I do to avoid that? Um, yeah. Well, yeah. first of all, what we teach on our retreats: healthy body, healthy mind, healthy spirit. Those three things. When you start totally. vibrating at a higher frequency, you're more immune. On. Uh, in every shape and sphere to disease yeah um if you believe it literally um and look I, I, I talk about this a lot einstein and tesla there's an experiment that was done recently and it's proved what they were saying you can actually change your physiology ions neutrons electrons with your thought that disease 
can is yeah. ions, electrons, neutrons. You can actually kill that with the right power. Uh, we all know about things like Reiki that for the thousands of years ago, there's all sorts of different healers like Energy lizards. Healings, yeah. So um, is it magic? It's just science. We, we're now actually starting to comprehend. So I've talked a lot, but there's raising your vibration and looking at all the evidence. So first uh, to do that, you lead a healthy life, healthy body, healthy mind, healthy spirit. Totally. Eat good stuff. Have your vitamins. Don't eat crap. Breathe Man. properly. Um, breathing is so And think better. Have your if you're thinking that oh god oh jeez oh, oh you're probably gonna get ill. I mean doctors, I don't. You, they totally. This isn't hippie woo woo stuff. Doctors say if you if you think you're gonna get something, you probably will. Placebo, right? So there's 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 a lot to be said about that, and I think. The point here, the, the message, I think, for me here to get across for all of us is, and I keep saying this to, you know, people in the community, when we did when we did our community gig on Saturday night, obviously, you, you heard me say, that, Alex, that we need to, we need to learn to develop better emotional robustness. And what that means is, that's a fancy term, what it means is we need to be able to we need, need to be able to get our shit together when it comes to emotions. Our emotions cannot be running around. If you have a child right now, there is, or if you have, forget a child, if you had a dog, there is no way you're going to let a dog run a mock across a park, you know, when it's a big pit bull and it could cause harm. You'll get lawsuits on your hand. There'll be all kinds of problems on your hand. You will keep a rein on it. Now you won't, you won't stop the dog from moving around but you allow the dog to be on a bit of a leash and what we've got to do is start to bring our emotions back on a leash that means that we still and meditation is a great tool to do that because what it does is two powerful things it helps us to get in touch and connect our head with our heart through mindfulness practices and through different types of meditation our head and our heart become better connected and when they become better connected we be developed greater levels of awareness so that we can track and trap Two, two T's, track an emotion and trap the emotion before it gets out of control. We can yank that chain, that dog on the chain, back on its leash again. We can yank it back on its leash before it gets out a mock. And that's what we're trying to do through, through the retreat we're going to run at the end of this month, through the meditation practices. Everybody has the opportunity to do this. Nobody can say they don't have the ability to be able to take a pause break in their emotion or close their eyes and ears to the hype. Nobody's forcing you to watch social media and TV and taking all the misery, right? And yeah. nobody's forcing you to go to, you know, Tesco and, and raid the shelves for toilet roll. That's your choice. There's got let to me, be common sense. Let me, just, let me just chime in there a bit about meditation. Meditation isn't always about sitting there cross legged going, homina, homina, homina. Um, there's so many forms. Meditation is basically yeah. awareness. And when you learn, um, and you, <laughs> some, and you go, you can go in different. There's different forms of awareness. Yeah. Um, like we could just, I go training a lot, and I have to be extremely aware. Mm -hmm. But then it's almost, I, I allow and I trust my inner psyche, and I get into what we call a flow state. And mm -hmm. it's like it's not me thinking. I'm, I'm trusting my body, and my body's ex exquisitely aware my so, touch my sense my sixth sense because we have this we have some called third eye we have uh kinest kin what's the word i'm working for kin kinesthetic kinesthetic <laughs> um your touch <laughs> so uh, look, you shut your eyes it's dark right yeah and you come in the light the lights just go off all of a sudden you're going to be walking around with your eyes are your hands and you, you get, if you're in the dark for long enough, you're going to be tense to start with. Then you start relaxing. And you can actually, if you're in the dark for, I think, a couple of days, I don't know the exact science on this, you actually can start seeing things with your third eye. Uh, you train. So it's about awareness. So when you understand, when you can learn this stuff with your eyes open, you, you, you get, what you do, you build a bank. So yeah. this is what the sort of things we're going to teach you. So we're not all going to be sitting there cross-legged. We, we, that is great as well. There is a place for that. But it's I meditate when I um, work out. I meditate when I drive to work. Um, it, that you might think that's crazy. I'm extremely alert. 
But my mind is, although I'm concentrating on the vehicles in front of me and being safe, um, I have a like a, a in, most of us meditate in that in those situations. You don't realize it. It's just and that we're you, unconsciously doing it. That's the difference. What we want to do is become make it something that is a deliberate act, something that actually gets us to deliberately build our awareness and our intuition. And really, meditation helps us to get in tune with our higher self. There is a higher exactly self. That. That, and our that's higher faculties. I, I would change the one I just said that. It's about being consciously aware that we are meditating. Because we enter meditative states with different, we have different states. Or yeah. every day we go into different states. So if, when you learn how you can actually switch this on, like, boom, oh, it's fantastic because it lets you, yeah. It, it, makes, it, makes, it makes all the difference. And the thing is that really the takeaways from this session then are, one, recognize that fear may be more contagious than the virus itself. Two, understand that fear is an acronym, false evidence appearing as real. When we start to deconstruct fear as that, we can start to empower ourselves and our loved ones to stop buying into the hype and sift, sift through the facts and the myths that are related to a given situation, in this case, this pandemic or the so-called pandemic. And Alex, you obviously gave a great example and put it into perspective about the amount of deaths or the chances of winning a lottery compared to dying from this thing if you're a certain, under a certain age. So FEAR, that allows us to bring perspective back to that fear. And then thirdly, on a regular basis, starting to get in touch with tech, tech, techniques such as meditation and mindfulness so that we start to become more in control of our emotions so that we can start to use our judgment to decide whether to react to a given emotion or not and just let it pass. And by so doing that, covered, we become more empowered. There's, there's so our summary covered, right there. You've covered the mind. Um, you ha we haven't, I, I mentioned the body, healthy mind, great. So healthy mind. the meditative techniques, they, they also enter the spirit, which I'm going to talk about in a second. But we've got the mind there. Brilliant. And when you understand the mind, you can, you can see the wood for the trees. You can calm down a little bit. How Amen. Many, how many people am I really, oh, am I really going to die from this corona? And if I catch it? Yeah. Um, you missed the body. Uh, well, no, we did the body slightly. Healthy body, healthy mind. What am I drinking now? This is, I'll just tell you what I'm drinking. I'm drinking a vegan protein drink with no lactose. Um, but long story, it's got all sorts of amino acids. Wait a second, wait a second. Let me tell you something that's really, really powerful as well. So I've got in here, and, and folks, if you're tuned in, I want, I want you to pay close attention. I've got something right here that will kill all viruses. I'm in this, I've got here a mixture of 30% water, 30% undistilled gin and 30% fermented horse urine. Now this mixture of horse urine, gin and water will kill all viruses and you need to go buy every bit of gin that you can, horse urine you can get online, horse urine, water combined and it will get rid of all your coronavirus. I'm kidding, right? right? Of course it's not gonna bloody get rid of it. That's the point. Stop buying into the hype. Stop buying into the hype. Make Use your intellect that God's given you or the universe has given you. Use our goddamn intellect instead of listening and getting yeah. programmed by the media yeah. and letting fear rule our shit. And if you think horse urine drinks, and, and hang on, if you think horse, horse urine might actually help you, guess what? Medical science has proved that you got a 30% chance that you're right because 30% of the healing is What's that P word, Alex? Placebo. But let's 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 go there. Right? But let's Damn. look at the evidence. Let's look at the evidence as scientific, <laughs> peer-reviewed evidence. Is it uh, forget about placebo? Mm, it's probably not going to work. But there are things that are. There's vitamins, minerals, certain foods, which are going to increase your immune system and your vibration. So let's. Um, which is why we're having vegan, extremely exquisite, gorgeous vegan food on our retreat, because it's going to raise our vibration. Yes. I'm, I personally am a trans, I'm what we call a, a flexitarian. I'm not 100% vegan. I'm, I'm going plant-based. I do have a little bit of meat here and there, and I'm feeling better for it. I'm feeling more energetic. Um, so look, these are two things that are 
emotions. We've got the mind, health, healthy thoughts. We've got the body. We're putting the right nutrition in our bodies. Right. And also, we're going to move a little bit because use it or lose it. I mean, if, you, if you're sitting down all day on a couch. Definitely movement. Uh, you need to move. You need to get what we need to get, work our engines. But there's one other thing, which we kind of do a little bit. Um, automatically with the spirit we do that with meditation but you don't have to do that with meditation but naturally once you start vibrating a high frequency um hell yeah you know, it, it comes out when you imagine when, you, when you're dancing your spirit when you're making love when you're singing massively when you're, when you're training you do something you absolutely love with your heart with your whole being that's and that that is what is going to make you more vibrant more anti-viruses amount um, uh, i'm not speaking probably it's going to protect you in every shape of yeah form. and ultimately there's one thing that we haven't covered and it's it, it it's the like the, the be all and end all of what i'm going to finish this talk with all right so there could be a situation i'm an ex-soldier um, thank goodness I've never seen war. But I imagine, I, I mentioned this the other day, you're in the Battle of the Somme in 1916. All of the troops, they're about to jump over the um, the trench. And if they don't realise they're facing machine guns, but they're still scared. They're petrified. And a lot of people... Were young, slaughtered. young, young, but young, under 20s. You're going to, it doesn't matter now, whatever situation, there's going to be some fear, such fear that you can't comprehend. So well, how do you deal with that? There's, there's times in our life that you're going to get scared and you, can't, you don't, you, it's going to be horrible, miserable. It's when you have a why. When you have a reason why. When you have a reason why. That will give you the strength to keep going. That's it. It's a reason why. If your why is big enough, you can face whatever. And that's ultimately, that's it. Massive. You've had a why, you've had a strong enough why. I think we can all relate to having yeah. a why. And if you're, if you're doubting this, look back at your life, recollect in your childhood, in your teenage years and incident, no matter how trivial, where your why allowed you to persevere and ultimately be victorious in that situation. You will invariably find that there was a situation like that. So you know that there is proof in your own life. If you look back in your own life, where having a strong enough why, as Alex says, is the pathway to succeeding and overcoming a lot of our fears. Love that. And the very final thing, um, like imagine you're a soldier, you don't realise you're going to potentially face impending doom, but your why is so big. If I like to think anyone who's watching this, Massive or maybe man. they're curious about this, if when you realise that this isn't the end in this physical incarnation as Prash and Alex, whoever's watching there's and if you have that we will we'll reincarnate we'll go to a better place yeah uh, yeah it, it kind of frees you it's yeah. not, it's gonna be scary it's gonna be but it also it's also it's part of the why why, why, why. Did, what's my highest self my soul what does it truly want when you understand that the world is the most amazing place this is where I am getting hippie and woo-woo because it, the world for me is exciting. It's scary. It's the best roller coaster ride I'm actually really starting to really enjoy. It's a bloody scary place. And I'm, but I'm, this is a great roller coaster. We just got to learn to breathe, breathe in life, embrace fear, and then release it. Breathe in life, embrace fear and release all that doesn't serve us. Instead of resisting fear, we embrace it and then release. Embrace and release. Just like in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you embrace, get the knot, and then you just release when they tap. That's it. Amen, man. 27th to 29th, Alex, off March. Folks, if you've stayed this long, if you're watching on this replay, there are still a few spaces left for both residential and we are having a number we've got permission to extend the facility to have non-residential day passes for our two-day transformational detox and retreat detox retreat at the end of this month friday 27th in the evening till sunday 27th night in the evening 
with the activities that we've been describing, a healthy mix of body, mind, body, and spirit, with plant-based gourmet cuisine, great accommodation, award-winning venue, Carbon Retreat in Harlow, Essex. Go check it out. And we'll leave the link in the details below. Alex, that's good with Come you. And we'll leave vibration. the link. Come and raise your vibration. Get in the flow. And let's enjoy life and find your why. And have a Cliff. lot of fun. Amen. Amen to that, man. Right Hallelujah. there, Chris. Namaste. We hope that's been beneficial, folks. We will catch you on another episode. Don't forget to like and share. And if you find this valuable, especially at this really difficult time, if you find this real talk that we're talking, we're doing, Alex and I right now, if you find it valuable, please like, comment, share your own inspirations, your own insights, your own realizations, and your own fears. And let's get this out in the public and let's deflate this bubble of fear and start to take positivity and perseverance to the top of the agenda and not the fear and the hype that's it for me alex Hello. peace out later, man. guys see you soon All the guys. Best, folks